this should be the definitive guide for installing motion templates and plugins, effects generators, titles, and transitions for Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to start off with the basic requirements. Basic requirements are that you have a user folder and a movies folder. I'm going to go into users. Actually, I'm going to do this. You can start in the finder and just hit Command Shift H to bring you right into your home folder. And everybody in the Mac universe has a movies folder right here. All right. If you've never installed a template before and you don't have motion, all right, motion automatically installs all this stuff when you start it up. But if you don't, you're not going to have this folder here called motion templates. And you're going to have to create it. So I happen to have a spare old user folder here I'm going to go back into here. And I have the movies folder here. It's not decorated anymore because this is not a blessed it's not the current user account. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this folder Motion Templates. It's case sensitive. Make sure you have it spelled correctly. After I do that, I'm going to right click on the folder and Get Info. Now you see in this section where it says Name and Extension, the Motion Templates folder has to have the extension localized. You just type that in there, type Enter, and close. Now you notice that the localized extension doesn't show up in the Finder. All right, inside the Motion Templates folder, you're going to need a new folder for Effects. And the same thing has to happen here. Get info. Effects has to be localized. A new folder. Generators. Localized. A new folder. Titles. And transitions. Okay. If you've gotten this far, you are now ready to install third-party motion templates for Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to go back into my user folder, my current one, Movies, Motion Templates, and you'll see there's Compositions and Template Themes. You don't have to worry about that. Template themes gets built by Final Cut or Motion when you add themes and things like that. And the compositions are tied up with that. So you don't have to worry about that. That's automatically handled by other software. We're only concerned with effects, generators, titles, and transitions. Say you've downloaded a third-party template. If you downloaded the template, with uh, Safari, you will probably find it in your Downloads folder inside Users, your user folder, Downloads, and it will already be unzipped. So you'll need to know the name of the effect so that you can find the folder. But I'm just going to go ahead and unzip this here, and you'll see I have another folder here. And if I look inside, there are extra files. I have a software license. And this here, when I look inside, I see a media folder. And this 
kind of icon for the main piece of software. This is all the collected files that uh, Final Cut has to find as part of the effect. The entire effect is this folder. This is the folder that needs to be installed into the motion templates folder, either the effects, generators, titles, or transitions. So you need to know which type this is. Hang on a second. This is a this is a generator. All right. Go ahead and get back to my motion templates folder here. Since I know this is a generator, I'm going to open generators and inside you'll see all of these other folders. Now these are the categories that you will find in Final Cut Pro 10. An effect must exist inside a category. If you're unsure which category this particular effect fits in, to help remind you of where it will be, you can create a new category. Name it anything you want. This does not need to be localized. Open up that category folder and just drag the effect inside. Now in Final Cut Pro, if we go to the generators, if you have a Final Cut Pro 10, 10.0.3 or older, you must restart Final Cut for this to happen. But ever since 0.3, Final Cut has been able to automatically update new additions to the templates folders. So I'm going to go find my category right here. You see it's already added and here is the effect. That is how you install a template or effect for Final Cut Pro 10.